How's it going everyone, College Lefty, and in this video I have completed the seventh inning program and I wanted to go over it and kind of take you guys through how I was able to do so in a short amount of time. This is indeed the last game of the signature moment. I'm trying to get this thing done as quickly as possible. This is the signature team series in order to unlock the Pee Wee Reese. So I'm starting it off with this just because I wanted to, uh, this is one of the last things I was able to complete. And this put me at about 290 something program stars. I wanted to quickly show you guys where I was at 294 with the Pee Wee Reese. I had to get a couple more stars and I was able to do that with the daily missions and I got up to 299 so one star away I wanted to show you what I was able to complete I completed all of the seventh inning boss missions of course and then I was able to complete the conquest map of I uploaded that a little bit ago I uploaded a video on how to complete that map as well as uh, other conquest maps I completed the signature teams as you saw unlocking Pee Wee Reese it gave me a good amount of packs a good amount of rewards and I will have that in this video as well as unlocking the 300 star program boss uh, for the seventh inning. I mean, I'm at 299. I'm going to go ahead and play one more event game. I did not play the online, the 10 online games in order to get this far. I figured that that would take a lot more time. I just completed all the moments. I completed all the, the missions and everything like that. And it put me at uh, pretty close to completing the program. I also wanted to say that the voucher was really important. I unlocked the uh, 75 stars that way. That saved me a lot of time, a lot of games. I didn't have to play the online games and uh, play a bunch of games against the computer in order to get this done right away. I also was at about 150K stubs. This put me at about 180K. And then after doing all this, I probably got a few thousand stubs, selling some of the, the packs and stuff, and uh, selling, going through my binder recently and making stubs that way. I uploaded a video on that as well. But uh, that will come into play in this video once I unlock all these packs, open them up, and uh, go ahead and go through my binder, exchange them all, and sell them for golds and stuff like that, then I'll make stubs that way. But let's go ahead and hop into this event. I needed to uh, either complete a, a daily mission in hitting three home runs or just simply play the three inning game and try and win it. I do want to unlock the Giancarlo Stanton as well. Unfortunately, I didn't, I'm not going to do that quite yet. I do need to win these event games in order to do so. I need to get all four vouchers from this event in order to get that statement. But there's a great amount of opportunities to earn stubs uh, right now, especially with all the programs that are coming out with all this content. I'm trying to get everything completed. I still have a lot of other signature team games to finish, uh, but I wanted to get that PB Reese completed, not because he's a good card at all, just because those program stars go with this uh, program. So anyway i wanted to talk a little bit about that as well as uh talking about how i completed the seventh inning program while i play this event game as well so we're up two to nothing the opponent got kind of an unlucky break on a fielder's choice that wasn't really ruled as a fielder's choice i don't really know how that was scored or what happened on the play but nonetheless there his first baseman wasn't on the base so we get a couple runs here, and I'm trying to cash all these guys in. If I'm not able to hit a couple home runs, I at least want to win this game. And the other mission I had was tally seven hits with gold players, and I'm not going to be able to complete that uh, with this one because I don't have enough gold players in my lineup. I only have Joey Gallo as well as uh, my catcher, Yasmani Grindal. So I only have two of those guys. I wanted to mention that, and I probably shouldn't have re-rolled the other mission that I had, which is strike out three players with common pitchers. I think I would have been able to do that in this event. I don't know about necessarily in this game, but I think if I would have played a few more of these games, I might have been able to strike out one guy here and there. I did have uh, Tim Hill in my rotation, in my bullpen for this event gameplay, simply because he is a very good pitcher. He brought the rating mod down a little bit, or the team overall down, and uh, I think there's a limit on this one at 83 overall. So that's important if we want to get some bench bats in this event. But I was able to get a lot of live series diamonds in here, uh, the ones that I did not quick sell yet, I was waiting for an event like this, and then maybe after this event, I'll go ahead and quick sell those live series diamonds that I'm never going to use again. But anyway, it's good to keep some of these top tier players like this, just in case you're trying to complete a mission for a program like this, or trying to unlock a signature series player like Giancarlo Stanton, or something like that. I think that these event rewards have been good. But we did get a break here. At this point, I I'm, have a four-run lead. I know that no lead is safe in MLB The Show, but I want to uh, try and get myself out, similar as if I was playing uh, the moments or whatever, trying to get this completed as quickly as possible. 
if the opponent wins the game, he wins the game. Four to, he comes back and, and scores four or five runs. Then that's that. It is what it is. But uh, at this point in time, I wanted to uh, try and get this win as quickly as possible. Get the one program star that I needed. Uh, win or lose, I think I will get it. As long as he does not uh, dashboard or I don't put out, then we will get one program star. So that's what kind of what I was banking on in this video. We do have Raldis Chapman in the game. I kind of uh, lefty heavy in the bullpen with this one with Josh Hader or Raldis Chapman. I went back to back lefties as well as I took out some of the only righties I had in there. I also put in Tim Hill, who's also a lefty. I took out Dylan Batances. I went with more of a budget team and was using Roberto Osuna instead. So he was the main righty that I went to in this game. But uh, anyway, Araldis Chapman is going to close this one out. We get the win there for nothing. He was able to get a couple base hits and had some uh, opportunities to score a couple of runs. Just didn't get that big hit in this game. But nonetheless, that should give us 300 program stars. We'll go ahead and open up a ton of these packs right here. And uh, it did, did indeed give us the 300. We'll get the boss as well. I have a lot of these packs to open from Conquest Rewards. A couple Ballin' as a Habit packs, a Twitch Drop pack, a Monthly Award pack, Legends and Flashback packs, a couple of Choice packs, as well as the 200 program star card, the 300 program star card. So we're going to have... A good variety of packs in this video hopefully I will be able to pull a diamond uh, nothing doing so far a couple bronzes and silvers but all these cards will be exchanged into gold cards and nonetheless I will be making a profit of stubs all these cards were free I didn't buy these packs I don't necessarily buy packs for pack openings I just upload uh, the packs that they give us and try to put them together like this so hopefully you guys enjoy this remainder of this video is just me opening up and getting the rewards i'll show you guys which boss i took and i also wanted to uh, let you guys know that i will be debuting all three bosses i will be trying to get all three of them i'm selling the boss that i selected on the market and trying to pick up all three so that way i have the voucher ready to go for the next program as well i don't think that all those three uh bosses are necessarily worth it to pick up right now there's only a couple days left of world series or of this rank seasons before there's a new world series reward and uh, i think that i'll be good with the guys that i have to make world series if i do play enough games and win enough games in order to do so i'm at about 850 rating and uh, if i can get a couple cards in this video maybe sell them and uh, try and maybe even get a signature series player sell it and pick up somebody like uh Kenley Jansen, Bob Feller, someone like that. I would just want to pick up some guys to upgrade my squad and have enough stubs to uh, to buy back those bosses. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about there. And I don't necessarily think that these bosses are going to be at the price that they are right now for a long time. I think that a lot of people are going to complete this program really quickly. The price for that is going to go down rather significantly. So I will include that later on in this video, what price I put them up for. And then I'll also let you know if I was able to sell them for that price on uh, Twitter or whatnot. But anyway, uh, we haven't gotten really anything yet. Just a bunch of guys I'm going to end up exchanging. I'm going to go ahead and save the ball in as a habit packs to open up after the uh, Twitch drop packs. A couple legend flashback packs because those guarantee some good stuff as well. And then we have a gear up pack. I don't know if that has a gold or a diamond in it. That's an equipment item. I don't. Th it's not from the XP reward path, so I don't think it has a diamond. But we'll see. Anyway, we have the monthly award pack, which I have pulled a diamond out of, which is also a choice pack. So I pulled the diamond out of there before, and that was during the last uh, kind of rewards that we got through uh, playing. It was some of the moments, the tops now moments, stuff like that. But anyway. Um, so far, no diamonds yet, and another gold card, but at least it's a goose gossage, someone I don't have. I, I thought that it would be a gold equipment. It is indeed, and I'm going to go ahead and just pick any of them. It, they don't really go for anything at this point in the season, but we get a gold card in the first one. Seth Lugo just recently went gold. I'll quick sell all those gold cards because I already have them locked in. I already have Willie Mays. I've already done the collections. If you haven't done the collections, lock those in and then quick sell them afterward and you will still get the thousand stubs and they will be locked in this is the 200 star program pack and i'm going to go ahead and select cole hamels that's definitely going to be a pitcher that i'm going to use as well we are going to have a couple debuts on the channel upcoming here 
And at this time, I'm going to select Andre Dawson. I think that Tom Seaver is the move. But I went ahead and picked Andre Dawson simply because I think I'll be able to sell him for the price that he's going for. He's going for right around a 285k, right in the middle there between Seaver and Jeff Bagwell. I think that this card will be uh, someone someone will want to pick this card up and use him right away. And I think that uh, I'll be able to sell him for that over Tom Seaver. But I do think Tom Seaver is the pick, and I will be getting all three of the bosses. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm College Lefty, and I completed the seventh inning program. And I wanted to let you guys know how to do so and how I was able to do so. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great night. Peace out.